How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Ursina video and today we're going to be looking on how to generate terrain as well as make the terrain random. So with that said, let's get started and continue off where we left off last time. Now, when it comes to customizing the window or the camera, we go ahead and do window or camera dot, basically the, var the variable name here, camera or window dot, and then you have all your attributes here that you can customize uh, just like the entity. Now here, I just went ahead and set the color of the window to be some sort of like sky color. And I went ahead and changed the texture of the grass block here. So that it's a little more Minecraft like. So with that said, we can now get to actually generating the terrain. Now let's first go ahead and generate a flat terrain with nothing on it. So with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new variable. First of all, called terrain underscore width equals. And this is essentially going to be the size of the terrain so let's say we want it to be 10. now of course you can create another variable for like the z coordinate but i want it to be a perfect square so let's do that now we have our terrain width defined it's time to actually use it in some sort of loop and so with that so what we're going to do is we're going to do for i in range and we're essentially going to multiply the terrain width by itself so that we're generating a 10 by 10 platform and this is where it comes in. For example, you can make another variable and make it so that it's, for example, 10 by 8 or something like this. Now, that's what we do after that is we take our cube entity here. We pull it straight out of here and we go ahead and put it down here. And of course, we need to make this the first thing in the code so that everything is able to register down here. There we go. All right. Now, what we do is what we're essentially doing here is if I run the program, it might look there, like there's one cube, but as you can see, there is a hundred entities, 101 to say the least, including the camera. And what it's essentially doing here is it's generating a hundred cubes in the exact same position. Why is that? Well, because we essentially told it to generate a hundred cubes in the same position a hundred times, which is 10 by 10, because it's a hundred. So with that said, we want to go ahead and distribute each cube by doing cube.x is equal to floor, because we want it to be a perfect number in a, like the coordinate system and so with that said what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say i which is our current variable that we're iterating through divided by the terrain width now we want to do the same for the z here except we want to go ahead and do modulus like so so with that said we go ahead and run the program now as you can see we have a platform of grass blocks generating can see it is a 10 by 10 we still have our 100 entities all right so now that we have a flat platform generating let's get to the fun stuff here and make some random platforms and so that said what we want to do here is we want to do pip install perlin dash noise the capitalization and the dash is important here i already have it installed so now what we do is essentially we go ahead and import it so from perlin noise import Berlin noise there we go now what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and type in a brand new variable aka noise equals the Berlin noise function and this noise function takes two variables we have the octaves here as well as the seat now the octaves is basically how you know smooth you want the terrain to be so one would be a very smooth terrain and something like eight would be extremely bumpy and hilly of course a, a high octave number at this stage could cause some gaps in the terrain because we don't have anything under that first layer of terrain and so we're going to go ahead and set it to something like two where we have slight bumpiness but not that much now when it comes to the seed here this is essentially you know just like any seed it is a randomly generated number between the integer limit of course so you don't you can't have anything above that so this basically determines basically what the world is going to be so each seed has a different and unique generation now how do we actually apply this generation well we do cube dot y equals because we want to change the y coordinates of the cube we do floor noise then brackets and then we want to start a list over here and what we want to do is we want to do cube dot x since it takes in two coordinates as well as the height so we're going to do cube dot x divided by a certain frequency here which we can create right up here now the frequency is basically with its name uh you can go ahead and play around with the numbers here of course but i'm just gonna write 24 
So we're going to go ahead and divide it by the frequency as well as the cube dot z right here divide by the frequency and then at the end here before the last bracket we're going to multiply it by a certain number which is the amp which is high how high it can get so amp equals let's say it's six i'm going to go ahead and type in the variable amp here now let's actually go ahead and test it out here and as you can see we have a hill generated here there we go we have a little bit of random sprinkle on it now of course you can go ahead and play with the numbers here just like i said so you can you know do something like this for example and if i go ahead and run the terrain now we don't have the same hill anymore we have the little bomb down here instead and of course we can go ahead and play with the octaves as well so if we put it to one as you can see the terrain is generally flatter now if we put the octave to something crazy like five for example as you can see it is going to be really bumpy to the level that there might be gaps in the terrain which we're going to fix later on this is really really basic terrain generator system this is just to get an idea of how to generate random things in Ursina. of course using Perlin noise which is a wave function that just generates smooth like patterns and waves according to the certain numbers that you have put in all right now let's switch this back to two and let's make the frequency something like four for example and let's see how that works as you can see now we have just a lot of bumps to say the least and yeah the higher the frequency the smoother it is so let's go ahead and set it to 24 again and there we go we have our smooth terrain again let's go ahead and set this a little higher something like eight maybe and as you can see if we don't fall down here the terrain is generally a little higher so this hole didn't exist back then and all of this didn't exist for example let's make a significant change here let's do something like 13 for example if i go ahead and run it as you can see this is a generally larger hill than before so yeah go ahead and play around with the numbers see what you can do just you can, if you want you can also go ahead and input a random function here using the random module so yeah this right here is how you can generate terrain how you can generate random terrain of course go ahead and play around with it as much as you want you can change the calculations slash functions here you can go ahead and change any way you can do it of course there might be better and more advanced ways to do this and generate terrain but this is just a beginner friendly guide or a basics we're going to look at the slightly more advanced way in the future and so with that said i will see you guys in the next video